This is how we get Oklahoma education back on track, by empowering parents, using free market principles, and continuing to think outside the box to make Oklahoma a leader in education. I'm very excited about the future for Oklahoma students because of what we were able to accomplish this year. You know, we started off the year by ensuring there would be no pornographic material in the classroom. We had to get this radical left ideology out of the classroom. And that started with the pornography being pushed in our schools. We were able to do that. Next, what we were wanting to do is to ensure that we had the focus back on academics, not indoctrination. We launched our Back to the Basics plan, which ensured our kids had were focused on math, reading, science, history. So important that that's our focus of our schools. And our Back to the Basics plan emphasizes those key aspects of education. One of the other things that's so important for our kids is that we continue to bring parents to the table. That we continue to empower our families. We were able to launch universal school choice through a tax credit, which allows parents to choose the school of choice for their child. With this, they could send their kids to a private school, a Christian school, or even homeschool. But this gave parents that opportunity and allows Oklahoma to continue to improve the educational outcomes for every child. With that, we also wanted to ensure that parents had the best teachers in the country for their kids. This is where we use free market principles to bring over 500 new teachers to our schools through a signing bonus program that gave more money to the best and brightest teachers to enter the classroom. But we didn't stop there. We also wanted to introduce merit pay for teachers so that the highest performing teachers can make more money by staying in the classroom. Again, this is how the state is putting more and more of an emphasis on student outcomes, on using free market principles to move the state forward. We also wanted to ensure that all the students that have fallen behind in reading had proper tutoring. So we have launched the state's largest tutoring program to ensure that our kids have that extra bit of help. But we also ensured that paying for tutoring was based upon performance of the child. So that we again are using the free market to incentivize outcomes. For far too long in education, we've talked about systems and emphasized structures instead of placing the importance on individual students and outcomes. As we continue to advance as a state, we have got to continue to push out other influences from the teachers union to communist China, to the Biden administration out, and put the emphasis back on the academic value of reading, writing, arithmetic, and science. What we saw was we were able to throw the Communist Party out of our schools. We found that they were influencing Tulsa Public Schools and we were able to end any kind of partnership with our adversarial foreign powers in the classroom. This is how we get Oklahoma education back on track, by empowering parents, using free market principles, and continuing to think outside the box to make Oklahoma a leader in education.